Hi guys, welcome back to my aesthetic room. Ooh, got my lights on. I'm setting the mood for today's video, which is gonna be a reset self-care evening video. So I hope you guys are excited to see it. Okay, sorry about this angle, but I just wanted to sit to do my intro for today. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a little self-care evening. Recently, I've been going through a lot and I've realized that I haven't taken any time to do anything for myself, take care of myself. I haven't taken care of myself physically more than like mentally, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna be focusing more on like physical stuff. I actually have a checklist of things that I decided that I wanna do today. Number one, it's my hair washing day. I actually waited to do this so that I could do it in the video. I need to do a hair mask. I saw this like hair mask that someone did on TikTok, so I'm gonna do it too. Um, I wanna do kind of an in-depth skincare. Um, I do my own like extractions and stuff, which is kind of gross, probably won't film that, but I do that every so often to keep my skin feeling fresh. Um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I haven't touched my eyebrows in a really long time, so I'm gonna do them and I'm probably gonna dye them too because I like to dye them sometimes so that the shape is nice. Obviously, after I let the hair mask sink in, I'm gonna take a shower, do a full hair, body, everything. Then I just have a couple little tasks, like I have to finish up some laundry. I wanna just clear away any of the small little things that I have to do so I can relax. I like to end the night off with stretching. Probably gonna do that, have a little tea, and just chit chat with you guys. Before we get into it, I do wanna talk about Case to Defy, if you guys noticed my beautiful new phone case. So I'm gonna take you to future Alex, who's gonna talk to you a little bit about Case Defy now. Hello everyone, it is future Alex coming to you, ready to show you some new phone cases that I got. If you guys don't know what Case Defy is, it is a phone case company. They have introduced the new Impact and Ultra Impact case. This is one of the Ultra Impact ones. And this one. And this one. This is a really cool one because it comes with the mirror and it's customizable because it has my name at the bottom. This is my other one. This one as well, which says you are exactly where you need to be. This nice, colorful, wavy one. And lastly, this cute heart one. So the new Impact and Ultra Impact cases are made from 65% of recycled material and plant-based material. All of the packaging that the phone cases come in are also made from 100% recycled material. And it's all made out of recycled recycled paper and non-toxic soy ink, which is made from soybeans. So these new cases are lined with Chi Tech, and the new Chi Tech 2.0 technology comes with 9.8 feet drop test protection. This new material absorbs the shock from when you drop your phone and is also made from 100% recycled and plant-based material. All of these phone cases are compatible with 5G and wireless charging. As you can see, Case Defy carries the largest variety of phone case colors and designs to fit your everyday mood. You can choose from the selection of curious prints or personalize a case with your favorite font and design layout for a truly custom case. And to put the cherry on top, these phone cases are made from 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous material. The great thing about this is since you're carrying your phone all the time, going everywhere with it, the phone cases are keeping you safe because the phone cases feature Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria from sticking to them in the first place. So with Christmas coming around, with Black Friday being literally in a few days, you guys can go onto the website. These are are great, great gifts for friends and family. The link will be down below. It's casetify.com slash Alex Adams. And you can get 15% off your order. Thank you guys for listening to this little part. Enjoy the rest of the self-care routine. See ya. Welcome back to my bathroom, the place with the worst lighting in the world. So what I'm gonna do for my hair is I'm gonna use a hair mask. There's not much of this left, oh shit. Okay, this is Mariella's, but she doesn't watch my videos, so I'm gonna use it. Um, she's not here, so I can't ask for her permission. I am gonna put coconut oil and leave that in my hair. So coconut oil masks are actually something that I've been doing for a while, like since I was young, but I haven't tried using a hair mask first and then coconut oil on top. I saw a girl on TikTok do it and her hair was luscious. So she also wet her hair first with a spray bottle. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just following the TikTok trends. So my hair is dirty and I'm just gonna make that clear to you guys because wouldn't really make sense to put a hair mask and clean hair now, would it? Whenever I use coconut oil in my hair, I shampoo two times because if you don't shampoo twice, it's hard to get all the oils out of your hair and you're just gonna have to end up washing it 
like the next day. I cut my hair like not too, too long ago, so it's not really dead like that, but it's also preventative measures. And if you do use heat on your hair regularly, I'd say I use it like once a week, sometimes not even. So I like to keep my hair as healthy as possible, and this is a good way to do that. Somebody asked me in my last video, what do I ask when I get haircuts? I'm pretty sure the last time I did get a haircut, all I did was ask for uh, long layers, texture, and then curtain bangs. I'm not gonna lie, she didn't really give me the curtain bangs that I desired. She kind of just cut like here, I think, like straight along, which is why when they grew out, I literally did it myself. I think I trust myself a little bit too much when I cut my hair, but I also feel like half the time, nobody's gonna notice. Like if you end up styling, it properly like literally no one's gonna notice just in case i didn't mention this is the shea moisture intensive hydration hair mask i focus the hair mask more on my ends i'm gonna use the coconut oil kind of all over the one thing that's hard about coconut oil for me is sometimes i'll like scoop some out put it in a bowl warm it up but like also who has time for that so i warm it up in my hands and especially when it's cold it gets hella clumpy and it's really like it's flying everywhere <laughs> Okay, honestly, this was not the best idea. See, I'm regretting my decisions already, which is not great because now I have clumps in my hair. I think I'm gonna fill up my sink with hot water and leave the jar of coconut oil in there for a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, maybe. Okay, great news, everyone. Some of it has melted. I'm gonna leave this in for at least an hour, but it kind of just depends how long it takes me to do everything. Put it in a little bun here. Ta-da! Down to my skin. I'm just gonna show you guys the way that I personally like to do like my deep skin cleanse, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna warm my skin up with some hot water, use like a hot rag to like open up the pores around my nose. <laughs> Okay, so when I do this, I grab a tiny bit of oil. Honestly, don't take my advice because I'm not an esthetician. This is just literally what has been working for me. It's like a routine that I've stuck with for a while. If you are someone that has pores that get clogged up, you probably do this too. Okay, here's my trusty tool that I use. I like to call it the pimple popper tool. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back because I don't want you guys to see that. Now that my face is nice and red, um, we're gonna get into the eyebrows. Okay, so I have stopped getting my eyebrows done since like high school. Since then, I kind of took it upon myself to just follow the guidelines of the way that my eyebrows look. I always start off brushing my eyebrows down, seeing what needs to be removed, and then I will brush them up. This is normally where I have to be the most careful because the bottom of my eyebrows need the most care to keep the shape looking like even and normal. I do like to go in with one of these little face razors that are just bought from Amazon. I'll just kind of take away the excess hair up here. I do this because you can't pluck all the hairs up here. It's just difficult. Like I mentioned before, sometimes I do dye my eyebrows. Honestly, I don't do it too often because it doesn't last very long. I don't know why. Probably because it's just for men beard dye. What I do it comes with two parts. Add a little bit of this actual gel coloring and I literally put it on the box so grab the activator and then we do a little science mix them together so that they can actually dye the eyebrows if you do have light eyebrows obviously because it's like dyeing your hair it's where the dye sticks but the dye does end up sticking to my skin then I have a nice like outline of my eyebrows there's really not a good reason for me doing this right now but I don't really care on my face for literally no more than five minutes because I don't want it to look too intense. I don't want to look too terrifying. It's time to remove these bad boys. I just use a cotton bowl, not a cotton bowl. Ooh, cotton pad and some warm water. Ta-da! 
spent a good amount of time trying to do that as perfect as possible and I don't really see much so for those of you who might be trying at home use a little bit more product keep it on for a tiny bit more time I think I was really scared of it looking a little too intense um, moving on I definitely haven't let my hair soak in for long enough so to finish off the skincare and stuff I'm gonna shower before I do that so I'm gonna take you guys to do some laundry fresh out of the shower got my comfy outfit on for the night i'm gonna finish up my skincare now so i cleansed my face when i was in the shower because i'm gonna put hyaluronic acid i need my face to be wet again so i'm gonna use the ordinary's hyaluronic acid i'm gonna use this hawaiian eye gel that has green tea in it and i just put it underneath okay cerave moisturizer is always the way to go Okay, I only have like a couple drops of bio oil left. But I'm gonna use it till it's done before I buy a new one. So it's been like an hour. I had dinner. My family ordered some Chinese food. It was very delicious. But I'm feeling a little bit stressed, anxious, sad. So I'm gonna end off the night. I'm gonna make some tea. I'm going to do some stretches, which sounds a little weird, but recently I haven't been working out because I haven't been feeling the best, which means my energy is kind of low to like do a full workout. Just to honestly make me feel like I'm being a little bit more active. I do like stretches at night sometimes. Feels like a good way in my eyes at least to release some anxiety in your body because you're moving a little even though you're not like working out necessarily there's better ways to do it but basically the bare minimum is what i'm trying to say like such a like relief to my body if this can be taken as a sign for you guys to just spend an evening on your own listen to what your body needs spend time taking care of yourself because i talk about this all the time but we get lost in life a lot and don't focus on the things that actually matter and like you are the thing that matters the most in your life no one else is going to be there for you the way that you are going to be there for yourself if there's anybody you should be taking care of it's yourself and it's not selfish to do it's right doesn't mean you should only be thinking about yourself 24 7 don't get me wrong but it does mean that you need to give yourself the same amount of time that you give other people my two cents i think that's going to conclude my video i love you guys i hope you're taking care of yourself take care of yourselves first so you can love others after that's the motto of today love you guys see you in my next video bye